Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. I hope everybody is doing well out there. Hello there. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, hello. So yesterday we did an exclusive. Um, this was a real fun one. We actually uh, had so many people telling us uh, how interesting this one was. It took us a little while to put this together as it was made through several channelings um, as well as other you know, f uh, research that has been ongoing and you know, pondering. Ponder, ask questions, go sit quietly, see what comes to you, learn to use your own intuition and develop your own ability to sense the truth in things. And I like these because these are more private sessions and I like to put them out to you guys first because you give to us on Patreon. You give to us and hopefully we're giving back to you by giving you a glimpse of how we do this thing, you know, how how it works. And then we put it together. So this was a, a, a channeling that I did and it was private and it was quiet and there was a lot of really good information in there, I think. And as you can see, it was basically an hour long um, and in-depth information on galactic treaties of 2025. Now, that number is absolutely key. And also, uh, well, what we got as far as an answer to the flat earth uh, phenomenon, which is growing. It is growing. And so these are the new patrons uh, that we've just had join the family. Uh, we have Mike, Mike, Ray. Exacto Nave, Melissa, Angela Marie. So thank you guys so much. You joined the growing family over on Patreon. We couldn't do it without your support. Indeed. Again, exclusive videos going up there, uh, usually twice a week that uh, you won't find anywhere else. And so here we go. The, the UK government prepares to deploy asylum seekers across the country. Uh, immigrants are going to be given priority over Britons when it comes to finding housing. Um, you know, they were also uh, putting out different offer offers for, again, uh, what many have termed, again, illegal uh, immigrants that are coming into Oregon, Washington, and some of the U.S. states as well. They're, they have programs where they could buy houses with no money down and no interest rate. And it's fascinating because now uh, I've seen some sources that are saying that some of these houses that they're being designated for have been bought by that Black Rock company. Oh, it's so all tied together. And it doesn't matter, you know, this face, or if you looked at Rishi, or if you looked at Liz, or if you look at, um, you know, any of the ones that came before, there's where's the strings? I, do you see the strings? I, I don't see them, but but they're there. They are absolutely there. This is a, a much bigger plan uh, by the controllers of of Earth that are really in the shadows to a degree. You know, some of the puppets we see. And they keep pushing forward. They keep pushing forward. Their time is very short um, as far as being in control. They're really on a crumbling sandcastle right now. And it is crumbling all around them. Meanwhile, you have these constables. Now, literally, I'm placing you under arrest for the conspiracy to cause an interference. I think I'm under arrest for the conspiracy to commit public innocence. When innocent till proven guilty fails, you might no longer be living in a democracy and you are under regime. Uh, the reality is, and listen to, let's listen to the words on this one. The reality is, it's, it's always been this way. It's just now they're taking away the illusion. And the words, when Cindy was under a full trance and the guides were coming through, they rang so strong in my ears when I was listening to um, the Galactics telling through Cindy's mouth, you're going to know, you know who your controllers are and you are going to know what their intentions are. It, it's not going to be any gray area like, well, did they really mean this? Did they really mean that? It's not that bad now, is it? 
Oh no, there's there's no no debating this. This is going to be so incredibly obvious right now, and this shows how desperate they are. So you're taking part in creating an event that's going to come together that could end up creating a disruption at UK airports. Meanwhile, you know, you have yesterday uh, in, in one country over there in, in the EU, nine people stabbed, three people lost their lives. Um, there are people being killed every day. There are things being intentionally set ablaze um, by people that are not uh, legal residents. And the legal residents are getting arrested because they're thinking about literally just thinking about protesting all the crap they were watching happen in front of their own very eyes and yeah that's kind of an incredulous uh look you haven't done anything yet it's just that you are are thinking about putting together a group of people that might cause a disruption you know there's several movies that were put together this one was from 1997 remember this conspiracy theory um, I think we may end up going back and trying to find this and, and watch this again because we're living it now. <laughs> we are living it now. Oh, yeah. So all the wackos, all the craziness, you know, all you that were called crazy conspiracy theorists, stand up and be proud. We should make our own little shirts. I am a conspiracy theorist. That means that I just got it before you did. I think that's that's appropriate. But now it it's really happening to it's the thought police. It's 1984. It's Orwell. You know, and here it is. It looks like the Fed uh needs our money. What? They already tax us to death and you know, Wikipedia. Yeah, this is again CIA, FBI, which is ultimately it's the same thing as MI6. It's the same thing as what the KGB was. It's all just an illusion. It's all one controlling agency. This is making its rounds. Many people are buzzing about this, and I wanted to just touch on this. As we touched on um, on that Patreon, you, you, you find out the why uh, behind all this stuff. Um, it, it's, it puts all the pieces together. So they say there's a member of the few uh, document careful the way I'm trying to put these words together because this this is really even too touchy for some venues um, but basically saying that there is the chance that you know come 2026 there could be a 75 percent reduction and a lot of vacant housing all across the planet and you know talking about her Klaus etc cetera, etc cetera. It, it is a uh, it's been our I should say our section uh, of Earth has been uh, a, a lockdown. It is a lockdown. This is a reality. Um, and and the jailers, uh, the ones that are, are holding the keys in some ways, because ultimately we hold the keys, um, they're, they're crazy psychopaths. That, <laughs> that's the reality. And, and they use people that um, are indebted to the system. They create this indentured servant um complex to the system you know there was another uh post that was saying you know some of the elite that's a good term for them elite schools because they train the elites to be um a hundred thousand dollars a year to go to them if you go to f you know for a four-year degree or a six-year degree you know, that's equal to, um, you know, probably the average home. I think the average home in the U.S. is 400 and something thousand. Um, you know, we're at like, uh, personally, we're at 20% of that um, because, you know, again, we chose to live in uh, an area that's really, really affordable because we, we have the hopes 
of trying to get out of the system as much as possible. We, You will. I do believe in our lifetimes, if we can make it through these times, we get to that 2030, which again, they have an agenda by that too, of course. Um, I think it's going to be at that point in time very, very evident that there's almost like a free world section and, and the lockdown world. I, the, those that are staying in the lockdown um, and everything that this control system controls, because it's not going to control as much as it does now. It, it, they're, they're losing control. And this is obviously terrifying for them completely terrifying the thought of losing control um you know just think about it if that bully in school with his gang is always terrorizing all the nerds and getting their lunch money all of a sudden he doesn't have his gang anymore and it's just him and then you get about you know five or six nerds that that grow you know the spine to to stand up to him he's going to back down a lot quicker. You know, we need to stand up to these bullies because they are bullies and they control us again through that indentured servitude. Well, again, this is, this is, I'm going to give you guys the links. I'll let you listen to them. Um, this is nothing new. This is Deborah Tavares. I, I, uh, I'm not sure if she's still doing things actively. Um, a lot of people will mention her because she was always so out in the open with things and sticking her neck out a long time ago. This is from 2013, and it's talking about the same thing again, 2025, next year. You know, really, really the, the point in time, I think, that is from now um, through maybe the first half of the year, uh, primarily. These are documents uh, that she's saying, you know, that, that are out there, and, and she's holding a document from 2001. And, you know, it talks about the future is now. It's all right in front of us. It's all in print. You can see the patents for weather control. You could see the patents for free energy. You could see the patents for mind control. If people would just look, they're banking on the fact that their other programs have dumbed down the masses to the point where people won't look in numbers until it's too late. Well, it's happening. People are looking. Keep pushing. Mm -hmm. You know, I have sensed if we can maintain um, our bodies to be healthy and organic or at least come back from doing that thing, if you did do that thing, I feel there is a release in the future as far as a, a, some sort of freedom in the future for us. If we can just hang on through these times and not get ourselves in trouble and not get too caught up in the turmoil, I do sense that there is going to be, like Mike said, a freer world for for us to live in. It is it is going to be an us and them, but we are co-creators, and I do believe that we are creating a, a new world for ourselves, and that might be the split that so many people talk about that I can't see exactly what that split is going to be, but I know we're going to have one. Um, I've seen it. I've felt it with my own family. I've felt it in so many different situations it's like oh wow you know this energy i i can't have this in my life i need to split from it you know i need to do something different this is not working for me so i take another path um in some cases you know sad because your your friends are changing and that's because you're changing in frequency so if you've had <clears throat> friends for a very long time and you're going through an awakening and you're realizing that oh my you know, I'm just not feeling connected to this person like I was when I was in kindergarten. Um, well, you're, you're changing in frequency. So that's what that means. That's what that looks like. Or or you, you become friends with someone that you are enemies with in kindergarten. You're changing in frequency. And you and this other person that you didn't like are now best friends. <clears throat> it's, it's all about the split. It's just... How exactly is it going to happen still remains a little bit of a mystery, but I, I do sense freedom coming. Absolutely. There's there's too much of an awakening going on, um, and they're not going to make their um, desired outcome. It's just that simple. But yeah, they are going to cause havoc. They're doing it right now. It's, it's again about awakening. Here, this is Edward Reardon. Uh, he's part of the Future Forecasters now. You know, I've been subscribed to him um, since maybe 2017-ish. 
as I became aware of him uh, around that time. And so he was, he had another YouTube video removed. Um, it's interesting how they target individuals. They don't like what the future forecasters are doing. Um, and by the way, we are a bargain on our Patreon compared to the future forecasters. I do love those guys, but uh, they're, um, they're like 50 and and $100 a, a month um, for their inside sessions. So that's very expensive. Um, and again, we all have these abilities. Not everybody's like Cindy. Cindy's so exceptional. Um, I, I really think there's very few on the planet that can do what she does. Uh, I'm just somebody that you know hates the system so much that it, with that I intentionally hold back uh, promoting ourselves because we honestly don't want to be rich. We have no desire to be rich. Uh, we just want to have enough money to be outside of the system. In other words, you know, get things paid off and try to live outside of the system at that point, um, purposely having as little income as possible because the government just takes more as you make more. Um, but right now we're working to uh, pay off things as so many people are. And it's tough to even just keep up with eating healthy. And this is why they're doing what they're doing. They don't want you eating healthy. No, they want you eating junk. They don't want you knowing what he uh, just got banned for, which we've done videos on too. And now it's boggling my mind and making me wonder if ours have been taken down because, you know, you get notices all the time. Oh, you know, we've removed this video. It violates our policy. His video was about colloidal silver. Colloidal silver. You know, colloidal silver and nano silver are completely things that we always have and and again cindy has done videos um showing how she makes it and it will do an updated series uh, on on things as soon as the house is a little more presentable right now it's it's like a hurricane came through as we're reorganizing and trying to squeeze more in a thousand square feet um with the two big monsters here uh that protect us the security team, yes, Rama and, and Sita are fine too. Um, people had asked, I haven't seen them. And Sassy is going strong at 12 years uh, old or maybe even a little bit more. She's doing great too. And she keeps those two 110-pounders uh, in line, all 12 pounds of her. But see, you know, again, this is a big reveal. The reason why they're attacking him on colloidal silver is, again, because he spilled the beans and the rest of those guys have spilled the beans about some really touchy things, including uh, Klaus <laughs> and other events, you know. And in fact, I was wondering, boy, these guys are, are saying a little bit too much for YT. And so, you know, that's when they go on these runs and they just start removing one video after another. It's just what's what's what happens. Um, but at the same time, you know, the pushback, there is alternatives out there. And and we're so thankful for that. Australia, uh, we love Australians. You know, and that almost sounds like Trump saying, well, I love you, whatever you are, whatever label. But seriously, man, we, we have some amazing family members from Australia and here they are drinking uh, those forever chemicals in the water. Again, we, we, we use a variety of different, we have pretty much every water system you could think of. We have you know regular filtration like Alexa Pure, um, but we use um, reverse osmosis primarily. We do have a Berkey, uh, we have a distiller, uh, we have um, water tablets and we have life straws and it goes on and on I, I forget we have so many different systems because without water you're in real trouble you can live quite a while without food and um, you know and survive w water is is something that is typically unless you're an unusual person now, I do have a friend that used to go a full week dry fasting that's something I wouldn't recommend uh, <clears throat> unless you're extremely advanced in your fasting. Um, but here you have water with those forever chemicals that the body can't really get rid of easily. And they are linked to cancer. And so, you know, these are some of the areas uh, that they're showing high concentrations in. It's just one thing after another. Um, Australia is such a big, it's the size of the U.S. and, and yet has just a tiny little fraction of the people that are in the U.S. 
and um, you know there's so many things that have been done and and they have some of the harshest government on the planet that when you equate what's been done in Australia gosh you know it's just as bad to me as what's been done in in China or or Russia in fact maybe worse yeah <laughs> I mean honestly and then speaking about Australians this is one of our uh, interviews is uh, I saw people saying please please post more about detoxing well We've had several interviews, and we're going to get an updated one with Rosemary as soon as time allows. She's 14 hours different than us over there, um, so it is kind of tough to either uh, have us stay up late or or her get up real early or vice versa, but we have done interviews. This is an hour long, and this was all about protecting your health. Uh, she's a naturopath and herbalist, um, just a living encyclopedia with a heart of gold. So we love Rosemary, and she's helped us and so many people. And uh, I'll put the links in there. Uh, I would definitely recommend everybody take a listen to this uh, interview that we did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, you can see the little wiki there. Right. You know, I and I, I think we did a, a couple, few of them with Rosemary. So there's a lot of really good valuable information in there and it it really is a uh, more of a, a life change you know you make these changes in your life <clears throat> and it may take time for things to turn around but if you look at how long it took for you to get sick it, it is going to take time for things to turn around and and get better and and heal so it, it's really worth it to look into uh, some alternative methods as uh, the methods that are broadcasted to help you uh, heal or place a band-aid over you uh, really, really don't work too good. No, and then we were talking, of course, about forever chemicals, and then we see all these plastic bottles. Guess what? Scientists convert used plastic bottles into vanilla flavoring. Oh, my God. Are, how stupid are we? Well, People don't get informed enough. And and again, this is AJ tracking back to BG. Yeah, well, they might as well just drink it. This is, they've been converted into vanilla flavoring. Anybody that would knowingly drink plastic bottles, which we do when we're drinking out of plastic bottles. We, we don't drink out of plastic. We, we, we don't. Um, you know, again, it, it's, and then you have to make sure that if you are utilizing any plastics uh they don't have pfaas's um so you know be aware of this they've been converted into vanilla flavoring using genetically engineered bacteria first time a valuable chemical has been brewed from waste plastic yeah <laughs> valuable and then those, those 2025 goals maybe meanwhile and, and we touched on this before the government concludes fluoride lowers iq yeah, and this is why the whole process of putting fluoridated water uh, in every household in the U.S. has been ongoing for, for decades and decades. Uh, if, if I remember right, I believe it, it really started after WW2. Everything shifted. It, it got a lot more covert after WW2 in the Western countries, and we thought we were at peace, and really this was still underway. Well, yeah, we are being cognitively poisoned every day. Again, uh, in Germany, in those camps, this is what they put in the water of everybody in those camps. It keeps people more docile. IQs are, are dropping. And yeah, you know, sometimes I get frustrated with people that make very, very stupid comments. Uh, you know, of course, none of the regulars, um, but, you know, will come in and, and make a comment to me that just seems idiotic because they just don't get it. Well, their brain's not functioning well. I mean, they're 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 drinking these energy drinks, uh, you know, monster drinks. They're they're drinking all sorts of toxins. They're eating all sorts of toxins. Their their entire body is inflamed. You know, they they're they're just not thinking clearly, and they're incapable of thinking clearly until they can detox. Well, it's difficult on the brain. The, there's so much toxicity building up and up and up. The brain is not able to uh, give give any sort of critical thinking. And critical thinking has actually been studied at some very high levels. 
because they don't like people who can critical think. So they definitely want to put the kibosh or, you know, close the door on anyone who can think for themselves. And they do that in various ways. And one of those ways is poisoning, poisoning of the body, poisoning of the brain. And it can give you a, a short temper. It can give you all kinds of issues. You know, you can brain fog, forgetfulness, and, you know, hormones will do that to you too. But you're more apt to have have your critical thinking ability taken away if you're full of toxins than just going through some hormone change because hormones balance themselves out. That's a natural thing. So it's just, it's a difficult world out there. And here you have a post, again, RFK has endorsed 45 and, you know, has called out uh, the toxicity of everything in the U.S. and the fact that we are being literally poisoned. And it's not just the U.S., but again, there's a lot of U.S. foods that are approved by the FDA uh, that are not uh, able to be sold over in the EU because it, it's they're that harmful, but it's, it's fine for... Americans again. When you look at the Scott Got Gottlieb's and these other individuals that have spent most of their lives working for big pharma, and then they end up being appointed to the highest positions in the CDC and the FDA, um, you you know it's not even that these uh, entities are compromised; they're beyond compromised. They 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 don't have in my mind that these are not credible agencies. <laughs> They're credible for making amazing profits and and giving us uh, again uh, what we see happening, which is you know the life expectancy dropping like a rock. They're horrible. This whole system needs to be fired. That's that's just straight out of it. And you know yet you know here in the deep south you'll see people with like those big two gallon jugs of canola oil going to fry a turkey, it's like you wanna yell to them, hey, what are you doing? You gonna change the engine oil or are you gonna eat that? Because, you know, it's toxic. Don't you understand it's toxic? Look at labels really carefully because even you'll find, oh, well, this olive oil is on sale or look how much cheaper that is. But you look at it and it'll say, Okay, a blend of olive oil, like 10, 20 percent, and the rest is canola oil or something else. You know, again, these are, are it's a layered effect of what's causing cancer and what's ruining our, um, our immune systems. Because, again, inflammation is the root cause of so many different diseases. And when you're taking in these type of toxic uh, substances, you're inflaming the body big time. And, you know, one of my uh, favorite guys on one of the guitar channels, every time I listen to him, um, he's sniffling, he's coughing. And, yeah, he, he yeah, I saw way back in 2020 or 2021, he, he said something like, well, I shouldn't be sick anymore now. I went and, mm, yeah, you, you get the picture. And I'm thinking, oh, oh, gosh, you know, it's just so much of the world still doesn't have a clue. This looks like Aztec art, but this is actually, um, this is what a radar signature is showing right now. This is extremely curious, into thin air found another uh, strange anomaly. This is over Mexico, and it is an area that you will see big quakes, really big quakes. So this makes me very curious, um, and I gotta wonder, is, is something, you know, seven or greater uh, coming soon to mexico it's certainly anomalous and it's actually pretty at the same time oh yes i know but it, it must just be a software glitch that's all that's all it is that's, that's the ticket yeah, that'll that's, that's work what this guy said. yes just a software glitch it's nothing to see here you know as as a huge earthquake happens here in a few days but you know it just goes to show and i like into thin air because he proves it over and over and over again that it, it is technology i mean there's some out there that are preaching these are earth changes no earth would not do this on her own these are entities with technology and there's just some people out there that have very large audiences that are able to say well it's earth changes and 
people just fall fall into it and that's just not true you know what if what if people more people understood its technology well then our focus would turn to who has this technology and who's tapping into it then there's somebody to be held accountable which that is my belief someone could be held accountable if only there were more of us that knew the truth and here this is in lithuania they're digging up a bell that had been somebody buried a hundred years ago right and a lot of people have been hitting on the bell thing and uh, i saw this post bells can vibrate people's pineals and temporarily open the third eye this is why there's stories of demons becoming visible when the bells rang and why so many bells worldwide were destroyed so they could remain hidden well sound is very powerful sound is super powerful and so i was thinking about this post when i let rama out in the middle of the night and you know just simply uh by what lights are available like i, I always see the energy in the ether i always see it and uh, i've shared with you guys it's something that that opened up to me when i was uh, very young like 21 i remember um giving a bottle to my daughter uh, who is my eldest and uh you know all of a sudden i started seeing energy patterns everywhere you know it's a little bit like the matrix where you see uh energy everywhere there's no place where there's not energy um and there's particles you can see these particles now these particles aren't floating like dust no they're shooting about this direction that direction they're going in different directions and this is really uh what we would call the ether and when we start to use our concentration to call something into being we'll be drawing these energy particles which are small units of consciousness themselves into an area and and literally manipulating reality we can manipulate reality this is what the control system does all day long and it's so funny again that the demons have gotten most of the world uh, to worship them and to give them power and to view things the light in the light that they want which is again that any sort of quote-unquote magic any using of your consciousness in a focused way to create reality is going to be something that's of the devil and demons and and you are um i i called out like one fundamentalist uh and, and was you know making a comment and they're like oh you are deceived by the devil it's like you worship the devil you idiot you know don't you understand that it, it's so obvious again the system is the the mainstream media and it works in politics it's the, it's the political system it's it's all the mainstream religions that we have they've all been twisted and affected to some degree under this leadership it's affected everything you think you know that that the 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 religions with the most population following them are going to actually be right in this system uh you know that's that's just it's illogical but again it goes back to the fluoride in the water they can't think logically but they can be manipulated to arrest people that are going that are thinking about having some sort of activity or gathering to point out what the system's really doing oh yeah well you know again those people are enforcing the will you know the constables again are enforcing the will of the system the very thing that they shouldn't be doing they do this is how you had witch burnings this is how you had the crusades the inquisition this is how they're always pitting us against each other and you have people that can't see clearly and they're just doing their jobs you know because again they have you know 400,000 in school loans they can't go against the system mm. it, it's really unfortunate how how some people are in a really bad situation and you know <laughs> they're they're doing what they need to do unfortunately it's it's not helpful to humanity it's not helpful to freeing other people and what really bothers me is if you look back on the on uh the witch trials you know the 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 people who were actually able to follow through with that behavior and, and tie someone to a post and 
light the fire. It's like, how controlled do you have to be to have the ability to do that to a fellow human being uh, that you know feels the same way you do and has the same experiences you do? I mean, the manipulation has got to be so strong. And I do believe this is where, you know, MK Ultra was being born. I think it's far older than what any of us think. And it's gone through cycles and cycles of, of resets. And, and that's where I think it's important to wake up other people because to not wake up other people is dangerous. It, it's dangerous. People think they're doing the right thing and they're, look what they're doing and and they believe in their heart of hearts that they are just doing the best thing ever for humanity as somebody burns on a post or is is dunked and drowned in a in a mucky pond yeah it's it's we got work to do yeah absolutely and sound is powerful and this is again why we use the vedic mantras because they go back before uh the system was fully in place and they do open up our uh, energy centers. They can open up your pineal gland. They can awaken the chakras. And so that you uh, truly can start to turn on all that the system has turned off because we have been genetically modified. And, you know, again, we have that second chromosome fusion. We have what's called junk DNA, which literally is the controllers turning off segments of DNA because we would be like superhumans uh, outside of their control system and yet the the light light is information and light and sound together give us manifestation it's light and sound together that that create everything that we see and so again putting out certain frequencies is obviously going to change our reality this is what they don't want out there light and sound together create form so it is that uh 3d what you see here it is the mother earth father son working together and coming together and creating the form so you have you get to have all of your senses that's what makes the 3d so very unique is i mean we we have hearing if we are not in the 3d but it's really different i mean your senses you have so many more senses but the 3D is unique because those two energies come together and everything that you can see, your hands, the table in front of you, um, outside, the trees outside, uh, the grass, the fruit that grows, all of that is light and sound coming together for you. Yes, absolutely. You know, it's, it's just amazing when you think of it and think about the growth in Las Vegas. This is, uh, this is Las Vegas, 1947. Wow, not much there. 1947, 2024, woof. Night and day, it's amazing what can be built, and it's also amazing what can be swept away so quickly. This is in Australia as well, and you can see the faces in there. And then this over here, too, as they pull back, you'll notice uh, another face. Oh, yeah, the, you know, the, uh, many people have documented what's happened and they're right there for us to discover. Again, there's all sorts of astrological alignments that are, are noted in uh, these artifacts. Again, they're telling you uh, what happened. And what happened was the planet was taken over. And here you have Nancy admitting to it. Listen to this. This is just, I, I, I listened to this like four times. But they didn't know what they were talking about. We, we, we know our... We're different from the president. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. Others are winning the whole country. <laughs> president, we're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have very discreet. Reptilian, cold-blooded, these are the... <laughs> oh, yeah, they're, they're laughing about it, but it is what it is, and she's telling the truth. Uh, they will tell the truth. They, they do tell the truth. Um, and so we were 
going through and we're trying to organize the books that we have. Um, so I just thought I'd give you these six, um, which again, it, it, we've told about this one. This is the ex-KGB officer uh, who how has warned, this is back in the 80s, that we're being infiltrated. The moral decline is all purposeful. It's completely pur purposeful. Um, this one right here, New World Order, uh, has been quoted many, many times. That's from the 80s. This is also from the 80s. Uh, conspirators hierarchy, the story of the Committee of 300. When you see things that they've said that are totally coming, coming true, and now they're 40, 50 years old, this proof of a conspiracy is from 1798. 1798, talking about the reality of the Illuminati. Um, and then you have this one's all about the skull and bones coming together. And this is an encyclopedia of mind control that's been declassified. You know, it's all right there for us. Uh, but again, hey, hey, you know, you're crazy if you believe in these things. Well, uh, you know, every single thing, pretty much, I, I, you really can't find anything that's been completely disproven. You know, I don't know of anything that's been completely disproven that's a CONS piracy theory, but I do know of a ton of them. I mean, we could do a list of a hundred things. I bet you wouldn't be hard to find a hundred things that were conspiracy theories that have been proven to be actually accurate. And Rama gives his paw print of ap approval there as well. You know, it's just part of the awakening. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're not controlled by humans. We're not controlled by humans, but some of the humans in charge might be actually even worse than some of the reptilians. And I kid you not, again, that's that's part of what we were talking about over on uh, Patreon. They always call it a conspiracy, but they don't call it a lie because it's true. And, and again, when the world gives you dog do, well, might as well put things to use. This guy says, I, I don't care if... If there's an EMP in the future, I'm going to be fine. I got myself my own uh, reindeer pulling my sleigh. It's all good. <laughs> That's the most adorable thing. It's probably a bunch of street dogs, too, just getting together and having a good time. And this guy's living the time of his life. You think about that. He calls this his family, and he's happy. Absolutely. You know, it's, again, how we react to everything. And we have a chance, we're going to have a chance to rework things. And this is in front of us right now. This is our choice. You know, I think the one thing we shouldn't do is is be quiet about it. No, get on your high horse and preach your truth and, you know, expose what's going on. And at the same time, recognize that we don't have to go down uh, all their paradigms. They're, they're not going to win. Uh, can they cause things to be very, very challenging? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, there really were uh, those other two world wars, and, and there's been all sorts of redos throughout time that happen on a regular basis, and, you know, the redos are constantly ongoing, so we're, we're kind of hitting a peak, a pinnacle. But then again, the Kali Yuga itself is, is literally in our past. So, you know, those that that choose they could go on and go in they could go on with the system and stay in this um <laughs> craziness but i do think there's going to be the opportunity for life without the system and that's beautiful indeed source bless and namaste namaste